agreed to do this uh, to do the Dunlop MSA uh, Formula Ford Championship again um, with Jamin Racing, who I did uh, a part season with last year. Um, once we weighed up what options we had, what budget we had together, and we're lucky in that we have had a couple of backers uh, who've come in and helped us, and we're still looking for more because it's always always helps to have a bit of backup if anything goes wrong. So I'm still working every day to try and get a bit more, but. Um, when we decided that we were going to do Ford, especially when we heard about the new car and everything, we just thought it was quite exciting. And Really, it's a toss-up between Ford and Renault, and we just thought Ford was as good an option. I mean, I've already driven a Ford before, so... And then when we decided that, we didn't really think of talking to anybody else but Jamin. I mean, I really enjoyed working with them last year. They're very professional, everything that they do. They've got really good driver coaching, and um, Everything is sorted for you from fitness to get into places. They do, they do everything for you. They really look after you and they're a really professional outfit. And they've won the championship seven years in a row. So they're the best team in it. And you want to try and get with the best team, as best team as you can with what you've got. This form of Ford Sample I think generally they just want a load of young drivers from karting or from other forms of motorsport just to come down. And it's a cheap way for them to have a go in their Ford. And it is a, a really good way because you get Everybody sort of gets half an hour or so of track time for pretty much no money, so it's it's good for everybody really. And for me today, it's just the first time I've actually driven this new car because there's only two finished at the moment, so it's quite hard to get some track time. And yeah, I've just been out in it for half an hour, 40 minutes, did a longer run. So uh, yeah, just for me, it's just getting some seat time in the new car before I actually start testing properly. And um, yeah, and I think for Ford, it's a just a way to publicise their championship really well. They always put on a really good show and some really good hospitality and everybody's really helpful and it's just a way for them to sell their championship really and um, I don't think anybody does marketing and actually hospitality better than they do so for them it's really good and um, yeah it's just good to get some track time. It might not be much but for somebody who's first trying to afford you don't want to be pounding round on your first day all the time because there's just so much going through your head when you first sit in a single seat that you want it in a little bit so yeah it's a good day. I, I really enjoyed it, I've just stopped smiling I think, so I'm not, partly because I've not sat in a race car since June, but um, yeah, I really, really enjoyed it, it's good to drive and um, it's just all, it feels a lot tighter than the old car, the old, the old car's not old fashioned, but when you look at it to the new one now, it just looks about 10 years old, it's so, that new one's come along so quickly and they've designed it so well that it just genuinely does make the old one look old fashioned and the old one was a good car and it was really enjoyable to drive, but I mean this one's just got so much grip. It's not particularly easier to drive because once you've got that grip, you've got to get used to going around. It's like it's not the same as driving a car with wings, but you've got to get used to taking a bit more corner speed in and getting used to the difference on the brakes. And for a starting point, it's really good. I mean, there's a lot of development to do with it, obviously, but um, it is a good starting point. <laughs>